Dear pen pals, as you might already know, I am fascinated with FlexNib fountain pens. I love a FlexNib's ability to add a little bit of flourish and flair to my handwriting. So when Leonardo introduced the new elastic steel nib, I knew I had to try it out and give you my honest feedback. As I have prior experience with the 14 karat gold elastic fine version, I'll also give you a side-by-side -side comparison of both the steel and gold elastic nibs so you could decide which is best for your flexing needs. For this writing comparison, I inked up the Leonardo Momento Zero Giada Jade fountain pen fitted with the steel elastic fine nib inked with diamine Kelly Green. The same ink also went into a Momento Zero Grande Mosaico Hawaii fitted with a 14 karat gold elastic fine nib. When evaluating a flex nib fountain pen, there are several details to observe. What is the thickness of the line flexed versus unflexed? How much hand pressure is needed to flex the tines? How quickly does the nib snap back from being flexed? Does the ink keep up or does it starve or railroad? How smooth is the writing experience? To test the flexibility of the nib, I wrote with both pens, applying as much pressure as I think the nib could handle safely without splaying the tines. Your results may vary depending on how much pressure you apply as well as the ink and paper you use. To start, I wrote with both nibs without applying pressure to flex the tines. This is how you would normally write with any fountain pen. Using a pair of digital calipers and a magnifying glass, I measured both lines to be the same at 0.3 millimeters. Then I flexed both nibs in a figure eight pattern. Pressing on the downstroke spreads the tines, yielding a thicker line. Remember though, I'm only pushing both nibs as far as I think they can handle without splaying the tines. I measured the thickest part of the line at 0.75 millimeters for both nibs. So you see, both the steel and 14 karat gold elastic fine nibs have the same starting line thickness and flex line thickness. One of the key differences is how much hand pressure is needed to produce the line variation. To measure the amount of weight I used to flex the tines, I placed a piece of paper on top of a small scale we use for weighing packages. I pressed each nib to flex the tines to their full capability. While this isn't the most precise measurement, it does indicate a difference in the amount of weight needed to activate the nib's flexibility. From my findings, it appears the stainless steel nib requires 50% more force to flex than the 14 karat gold nib. Another important characteristic about flex nibs is snapback. This refers to how quickly the tines return to their original alignment after pressure is relieved on the nib. Looking at the bottom of the figure eight loops, the lines in both the steel and 14 karat gold elastic nibs appear to return to their original width at the same midpoint in the loop. A major concern for flex nib writers is whether the feed will keep up with the flex. One might think that the Momento Zero Grande's ebonite feed would have a major advantage and that the plastic feed of the steel nib would struggle. Over a week of writing with both nibs, I found neither pen to have any ink starvation or railroading issues. The feeds on both pens were able to keep up nicely, even with more demanding, rigorous flexing. The only difference I found was that the ebonite feed had a slightly richer flow. That's why despite containing the same ink, the Grande with the 14 karat gold nib appears to write darker than the Momento Zero with the steel nib. In terms of feedback, the 14 karat gold nib has a smoother feel on paper than the stainless steel. While I wouldn't say the steel is scratchy, it isn't as smooth of a ride as the gold nib. Generally, this is what you would expect when comparing Yovo's stainless steel nib to their gold counterparts. This difference in writing feel is the prime reason why you would consider spending more on the gold nib. So here are your key takeaways. Both the steel and 14 karat gold elastic nibs have the same amount of flexibility in terms of line width and snapback. The advantage of the 14 karat gold is in its smoother feel and softer metal content. Although the ebonite feed on the 14 karat gold nib provides a wetter flow, the plastic feed on the steel nib keeps up just the same. 
The price difference is significant, as the Leonardo Steel Elastic Nib sells for $32 for the unit and can be installed on a Momento Zero, Magico, or Ferrari fountain pen, which ranges from $199 to $225 retail. The 14 karat gold elastic fine nib can only be found on the grande size Leonardo pens starting at $549. You can find all of these fun fountain pens on the Goldspot Pens website using links in the description below. I hope that this comparison video helped in making the decision on the Leonardo Elastic Nib. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and comment below with your favorite Leonardo pen design. See more of the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande model in this video review here. Or you can check out this introductory video on Flex Nib Fountain Pens right over here. Subscribe to the Goldspot Pens channel for more fine writing videos, unboxings, and comparisons right over there. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.